everyone welcome back to the channel this is reno now we all want to speak fluent english we want to sound more advanced in english to be sound more advanced we must know some fancy and new vocabularies some new words right and of course we try so hard to learn to study some new vocabularies so that actually we can use when we are speaking in a conversation we can use some fancy words which will help us to sound fluent to sound advanced but when we are learning vocabularies after few days we find ourselves that we forget the word no longer we remember that word but in today's video i am going to share with you six amazing tips which will help you to remember all the vocabularies whatever you learn and of course you can easily use in your conversation and you can easily sound fluent in advance Now without further delay let's get started I have seen so many people that they just write down one by one all the words whatever they learn but as they see after some time all the words they feel that most of those words they forget and it is really difficult to recall it is like they never learned that word before so what we need to do if you really want to learn the word for longer and you want to use that in your conversation how you can actually learn that word and just stick in your mind for longer period okay now let's start with the first point so first point is that whenever you are learning any word any vocabulary make sure that you are using that vocabulary in sentence okay use that word in sentence for example that splendid 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 is a word which means amazing good now what you can do just google this word splendid google will provide you proper usage and proper examples of this word where you can have idea how to use this word in different sentences and you can also create your own sentences with these particular word which is splendid so let me give you example that yesterday i saw my friend she was performing splendid on the stage okay and of course don't forget to create your own sentences and share with me in the comment section now let's move to the next step whenever you are learning vocabulary you are finding proper usage how we use as adjective adverb or what are some different forms of that word which you want to use in your speaking skills because if you know it it would be really great for you to use to use that particular word in different situations in different sentences and of course it can expand your thinking and expand your speaking skills as well once you know proper uses of the word you can easily use that in different sentences to explain different situation now next if we have here whatever the word you are learning you must know how to connect different words with that particular word for example that if you are learning a word which is tremendous tremendous first as we always do search the proper meaning in google and once you know proper meaning what you need to do just search connected words now what do i mean by it connected words some synonyms of that and some antonyms of that synonyms which are similar meaning tremendous something mind blowing or you can say something amazing or splendid all words have same meaning which is something very good excellent so either you can use tremendous or some different words like splendid mind blowing or exceptional there are so many synonyms of that tremendous word so try to connect that particular word with different vocabularies so that you can also expand your vocabulary more and more which will help you to understand proper if somebody is saying something but similar some someone is using a synonym of word you are using then you can easily understand so make sure that you are also learning some connected words whether these are synonyms or antonyms now what do i mean by antonyms the opposite word of that the opposite word of the word you are learning 
like we have taken tremendous tremendous uh, tremendous is a word which means something mind blowing amazing excellent okay if we just uh, use this oppositely that would be bad or you can say pathetic and worse so you can use some opposite or some uh, connected words of the vocabulary you are learning to use in your speaking skills to enhance your english communication skills and to be sound more fluent and advanced okay now let's move to the next tip which you need to take care of whenever you are learning any new word so next point we have here always carry a notepad either a diary because if you carry a notepad in your phone or a diary a small diary in your pocket it would be easier for you to recall all the words if you are learning let's suppose if you are learning a new word in a day okay once you see that in the morning after that if you see you cannot remember but after that in the day you see that throughout the day you just give it a look for 5 to 6 times now you can easily remember at the end of the day when you will see that word it would be easier for your mind to recall it because you have already seen that word many times throughout the day then your mind can easily observe that vocabulary so make sure that you always carry a small notepad i mean a notepad in your phone or the small diary in your pocket so that you can write down whenever you are learning any word you are seeing any new vocabulary throughout the day wherever you go whatever you re- read whatever you do if you notice any new vocabulary just write it down and try to learn it now let's move to the next tip you must create some flash cards well the idea of creating flash cards i got from my friend he is from america and he is learning hindi language so i got this idea from him he used to create flash cards when he was learning hindi language you can also do the same we are learning english language we can create flash cards here now how to create flash cards so that it can make easier the process of learning new words well to create flash cards what do you need to do first you must have small pieces of paper okay just need to have small pieces of paper at the one side of that paper you must write down meaning full meaning okay and at the other side what you need to do write down proper usage of that word with example at the one side proper meaning at the other side just write down meaning proper uh, usage of that and sentence now once you create some different flash cards and you see at once all of them you can just uh, create as a game you can just make it as a game and you can also play with your family your friends you just need to guess the meaning or uses of the word once you see any random flash card of them you created okay so you can just play it as a game and create some flash cards it would be easier for you to recall and to enhance your memory once you create flash card you would be guessing that what would be the meaning of that word and how to use that in different sentences and if you are able to recall it means you are learning your memory is boosting okay so you can create flash cards to learn different uh, vocabularies it is like a game you can play it and learn in funny way now let's move to the next point so the next tip we have here whenever you are learning a new word well this is the tip which i like the most and of course i used it okay and of course i used it so much to learn new vocabularies this is something i loved so much and it is something practical i feel it is practical one when you are learning a word when you are learning a word you must write down some sentences you must imagine just keep imagining and simultaneously keep writing okay and of course don't forget to write as much as you can make sure that you are writing as much as you can sentences once you start writing and of course you just keep on writing it will be easier for your mind to stick that particular word in your mind for longer 
because this is the technique for me i used a lot in my initial stages to learn new words and of course don't forget to read as much as you can because once you are reading when you are reading actually you are reminding that particular word again and again as much as you are reading you will find that yes you are getting this word again and again in different sentences in different situations so make sure that you are writing and reading and of course i can say writing is the most effective tip which i can give you okay and of course i can say writing is the most effective one which i used if you want to learn any word make sure that you are writing as much as you can with that particular word of course reading is also important just always read always read each and every day okay so just keep reading and writing with that word so that you can actually repeat that word and recall that word easily when it is important and required to explain any thought to use that word i hope these all tips will help you so much to expand your vocabularies and will make process easier to learn new vocabularies so if you have anything to ask me or if you want me to make any other video on any other topic you can share with me in the comment section and of course if you find this video helpful let me know again in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching guys let's meet you in the next videos